When you call your dog, does he just stare and judge you? Does he stare at you blankly and continue to do whatever his heart desires? Do you then find yourself yelling your dog's name over and over and over again and finally end up accidentally initiating an unwanted game of keep away? I feel your pain and today we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to talk about one of the most important commands for your dog. It's so important that I dare to say that it could even save your dog's life. Our topic is come when called or recall. Be sure to stay until the end of this video to learn about the important safety recall. Let's get started. Why is it that when you call your dog's name or tell it to come, he likely ignores you? It's most likely because the command has already been broken. We've already conditioned our dog to these words without reinforcement, so they've been conditioned to know that there isn't an incentive to follow your command. For example, Gandalf's name and all his other nicknames are all part of our everyday speech in addition to the command come. Additionally, our tone in these reoccurring words may have tones used in frustration, so we have even negatively reinforced these cues. Therefore, the first lesson to be learned is that the less you use a word, the more control you have in that specific command. You can properly condition that command by purposefully using it and providing positive reinforcement. I think it's still important to reinforce these everyday words, but just know that it'll likely not be 100% reliable. That's why we're going to break out our recall commands into several phases. Phase 1. Basic Recall Training I'm calling this the Phase 1 Recall because this exercise is clearly a training exercise. Your dog will be conditioned in their mind that it's time to train because there's obvious structure. For this exercise, we have two people standing on opposite ends facing each other. In a location that is not distracting, have one person hold your dog and place them in a stay. The second person goes to a separate location and once ready, simply call your dog to come and use their name. If not distracted, your dog should be running to you with joy. Reward with a ton of praise and a delicious treat. Repeat for several rounds. Once your dog builds confidence, you can increase the distance. Remember to show lots of enthusiasm to make it fun for your dog. You can work on the stay command in this exercise as well by removing the second person holding the dog. Therefore, you can practice this one-on-one -on -one if a second person is not available. Just be sure to use a lead if you do not feel 100% in your dog so that you can quickly retrieve them if they become distracted. Continue to build distance and then add distractions. You can work on this at the park, beach, and just about everywhere. When Gandalf was a puppy, we did this exercise even in stores. The more places you work on this with your dog, the stronger and more reliable the command will be. Phase 2, the everyday recall. Once you get reliable with phase 1, we want to break up the training routine by calling your dog randomly. Have treats available around the house and call your dog while they are just doing their normal routine at home. They could be lounging or chewing on a toy. The point is to get them to come at random moments so they can be conditioned to respond while not in the training mindset. Be sure to reward and praise just as enthusiastically like phase one. Mix up the training from phase one and phase two from time to time and you should start seeing some major progress. As a puppy, I used to take Gandalf to the park and while he was sniffing around, I just call him randomly and reward him with a treat. This exercise is great because your dog will learn to always be aware of your presence and even keep an eye on you. Phase 3 Variation of Recalls Remember in my introduction, the likelihood that the word come and your dog's name may not be reliable because we will likely have overused those words. Therefore, we need to start introducing other words that are not used as often. I like to pair these words with different functions, but regardless, the point is to call your dog over to you. For example, I will ask Gandalf to look, essentially to tell him I found something interesting. I'll go ahead and toss some treats into a bush and act very intrigued. He is rewarded with some treats and also knows that every time I ask him to take a look at something, it'll be worth checking out. 
and he'll join me by my side. Another good variation is the command find me. This works great because it turns a recall into a game. At home, it'll be a fun game of hide and seek. The same purpose is achieved. Your dog will seek to find you. At the dog park, I often would do this and hide behind a tree. It worked almost every time. He would dart towards me at full speed because it was just so much fun. Before we get to the final point, if you have found this video to be helpful so far, please do us a favor and hit that like button. This will help us know that these videos are valued by our viewers and help spread it to more people. Thanks, we really appreciate it. Phase four, the safety recall. This is a critical one because this will only be used in emergencies. Pick a word that you know you will not say, ever. It could be obscure. It could be something in another language. You just need to be able to remember it. Do the same exercise as I talked about previously, but this time, bring the highest value reward possible. For us, it was hot dogs. In each session, we didn't overdo it. We kept each session ultra short. Literally three recalls will be sufficient for the session. However, the key is that you have to pay with a reward, no matter what. Do not use this word and leave them empty or the word will lose value. Recharge this word every once in a while. I used it a few months ago and was surprised it was still effective, even though it's been quite a long time since I've used Gandalf's safety recall. If you include these exercises in your regular training routine with your pup, I guarantee they will be responsive to you. It just takes a little bit of motivation and effort. If this is the first Corgi training video you've seen of ours, go ahead and check out this video here on how to perfect loose leash walking. If you want to see our full training series, there's a playlist below that. Thanks for watching.